I am a son. I'm a foster mom. A grandfather. Daughter, a sister, a cousin. And I am the mother of four children. We were on a U.S. summer tour with Pat Benatar and Rick Springfield. Towards the end of tour, I felt a lump in my breast. I was lying in bed and noticed something uncomfortable during a random self breast check. I noticed a sharp pain in my right breast. And I went to a doctor and had them take a look at it. I received a call that I have feared all of my life. You have breast cancer. You have cancer. You have cancer. The next week was pretty much a blur. I was stunned and I was scared. I had no idea when I was diagnosed that breast cancer can affect young women. I didn't think it would happen to me. I decided to attack my cancer head on. Fast forward to my bilateral mastectomy in September. And because my cancer was estrogen positive, I opted to have a full hysterectomy. I decided to have a lumpectomy, and after the lumpectomy, my oncologist said, well, now you have to have chemo and radiation. I began chemotherapy coupled with immunotherapy. The chemotherapy was brutal. I Googled breast cancer awareness, and the first thing I saw was the American Cancer Society. I knew nothing about breast cancer, and I needed answers, and that's where I found my answers. There's people out there and there's resources like the American Cancer Society who are, are there for you. We cry together, we laugh together, and we support one another. They also offer free programs that a lot of people don't know about. Road to Recovery, Reach to Recovery, a 800 number the patients can call. Stay strong, I stay positive. I contacted the American Cancer Society and I fought the fight. I have emerged from the medication, surgeries, stresses, and now have a new version of me. That was 22 years ago and here I am. I'm proud to say that I'm cancer free. I'm thankful to be one of the lucky ones who can now call herself a breast cancer survivor. I am living proof that cancer is not the big C anymore. Um, it's treatable. So please make sure you give and donate to American Cancer Society to help fight this fight against breast cancer. You see, the American Cancer Society uses donations to fund research that develops cutting edge technologies, treatments, and medications. Without Herceptin, my prognosis would be drastically different. All of us need to get involved because you never know when you may need their help. Join me in the fight against breast cancer. Will you join me in this fight? Together we can make a difference. Visit cancer.org today. I'm not only surviving today, but I am thriving because of ACS. And for that, I am forever grateful. I am the face of breast cancer. 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 I am the face of breast cancer.